Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Joystick. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can configure a Control My Joystick to play uh, Anno 2070, which is kind of a, a world-building strategic kind of game. And uh, we're just going to see how we can set it up, so let's take a look. I'm just going to load uh, an existing game. And I have a uh, Space Mouse Pro here. And we're going to use the digital joystick functionality of this controller to allow me to just scroll around the screen by using the controller puck here. So, uh, and I have it set up now and I'll show you how we will set it up here in a moment. But, uh, so if I just move upwards, you can see the game scrolls up and down and left left and right and I also have several buttons mapped here as well on the controller um, actually I haven't set up any voice commands for this game uh, it's a very simple game so it's uh, it's very easy just to do everything you need to do on the controller you know if you're not using the controller then you're basically scrolling around in this game with the uh, the buttons on the keyboard and I just find it a little bit more comfortable to use this nice wrist rest on the controller and uh, to use the controller itself for this and once you get used to it, it's, it's, it's really nice. Okay, so let's see how we can set this up. You know, by default, um, well, I shouldn't say by default, but uh, in this game here right now, it's kind of the WASD configuration where W is up, S is down, A to the left, uh, D to the right. Okay, so if I go here, I'm going to just press escape, go into the configuration for the game. Go to key assignments. Let's see, key assignments. Right there. So scroll forwards is W, A, S, and D. Okay. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to hit uh, escape. Now I have this game set up currently in uh, windowed mode and this is one of the best ways to configure control my joystick because if you have it full screen then that means you're going to have to um you know swap out like alt tab and it's a real mess and it takes a while you know because you'll need to go between control my joystick and your game but this way i can just keep the game up here like this and i've got control my joystick uh running that's not it I've got control of my joystick running right here and I just have this funky uh, green um, theme on it and I've also set control of my joystick to stay on top here so now I can play the game here and it works now watch what happens if I just click on control of my joystick say right here and now move my controller nothing happens because the game is not the active or the, the, the application that has focus on your operating system if I click on the game now it works. So we're going to be just flipping back and forth here. So uh, let's see. Now what we need to do here is uh, I've created a profile called Anno 2070. And uh, I've selected it. And uh, so you see it says profile Anno 2070. I have the controller enabled and I've enabled smoothing. Just to control the hand jitters a little bit. If I go to 3DX where here, I could see now if I move the controller, you could see how it moves on the axis. So I got up and down and twisting, yawing motions and rotation and translational sliding motions here as well. And I have one um, axis group, a curve group. So uh, now we can configure a curve for each one of the axes. So we just have to identify which axis we want to use in this case. We're not going to use them all. I'm just going to widen this a little bit. Okay, here's what we need to see. So I have uh, it set to when we rotate around the x-axis, which is in the x-axis goes this way. So if I rotate around it like this you can see when I go forward like this the value goes negative and when I pull back it goes positive 
Okay, so and I have it set up with a digital uh, joystick enabled. And when the value goes negative, I want to use a W. So this is the digital joystick character to be used when it's negative. So value is negative, it's going to use a W, which is, um, will make it scroll upwards. And uh, when it's digital character positive, okay, po positive, uh, it'll do an S. And I have a down delay of 20, so that means that it's going to send a continuous stream of these letters uh, when it's not in the center position um, to the game. And uh, it's going to press it, hold it for 20 milliseconds or 20 thousandths of a second, and then release it. Okay, and then it's going to take no delay at all and then do it again. So it's like push, 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 push. It's, it's very quick. So now to edit one of these, you just need to double click and you can see that it has a, uh, a curve and by default, you know, it kind of looks like this. And for a digital joystick, we don't really need to make a curve um, by default. I normally just do something like this. What I really want is a dead zone because I don't want um, to be scrolling when I just barely touch the controller because then it's just too touchy. But what this... Uh, does is this has given me a dead zone of 50. Okay, so I'm going to go up to uh, digital and you see how we have it enabled. The negative key is W and the positive key is S. Now you could put a lowercase w in here and uh, each game is a little bit different, you know. Um, I found that Animal 2070 wants uppercase. There's really no way to know until you try it. So down delay is 20 milliseconds and interkey delay is uh, zero milliseconds. So we hit OK. Close. Now double click on this one. Now this is rotation around the Y axis. So uh, this looks like this. The rotation, uh, the Y axis is kind of going lengthwise up and down on the controller here. So if I tilt it to the right, it goes positive. See, R, Y, left, negative. So I have it set that when I have a negative value, it's an A, which is go to the left, and D, which is go to the right. And these values are default, so they're okay. Close that. And I'm just going to drag this off to another monitor. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm just going to move it to the left. And you see how I clicked on this uh, on the game first to make sure the mouse messages or the, the keyboard messages get there. I'll scroll to the right, to the left, up, down, and you don't have to move it very far. The amount you move, uh, the amount that you need to move it is controlled by the dead zone. So I only had a dead zone of 50. Uh, the max dead zone is 700, which is like almost everything. Um, 50 to 100 is usually good. It's whatever you're comfortable with. So uh, now I could just scroll around and, you know, you could scroll in combination. So, you know, if it was on the keyboard and you wanted to kind of go diagonally, say to the upper right, you'd have to go W and then D, right? Because these two keys would have to be pressed at the same time. To come back at the opposite diagonal direction would be, oh, well, let's see, that's um, A and S. A digital joystick does the same thing. So if you can drag it down, to the lower left, it goes diagonal. And I'm just going to show you again what the axis inputs look like when we do this. To the right, oh, click on the game first. To the right, see it there. To the left, down, down. You can see some of these others move as well. Well, we haven't mapped them to anything, so that's okay. If it bugs you, you know, you can just disable the axis here. You just go up here and uh, go like this and then uh, they don't respond at all. Now it stops um, scrolling when you return back to the zero position, which is um, right along this line here. So scroll, if I just release the controller, it stops scrolling. Okay, so the other things I've done here is um, I've mapped a button for a strategic map here. And let's see what that is about. I've mapped it to the VKT top button. 
Uh, Got to remember which one this is here. I think it's this one on the controller. And you can see which button is pressed on the controller when you look here. So if I press a button, say this one here, escape, VKD top. Okay, so I'm just going to move this um, out of the way. Press this button, and it brings me to my strategic map. I could do some trading and stuff on it. Now, I also have another button set up to uh, close this, um, which is essentially mapped to the escape key on the keyboard. So I think it's this one right here, and uh, that closed it. So let's see what's involved in mapping this. So let's try uh, doing the strategic map button. And you can see how I've mapped it here to F6. Keyboard tech tech six. I basically said when this button is pressed on the controller, I want to send an F6 uh, to the game. Okay, so uh, so I'm just going to delete this one. Try recreating it. Let's go new strategic map. Enter. Now you could select the button that you want. So I want a 3DX square key combo. So you can have one or more keys pressed at once, but I just, I'll just use one button. And uh, I'll use the same one. So you press this. Okay, it brings up this dialog. Now hold the button down on the keyboard. See how it says here and here. I'm just releasing it. Um, there's V3 K, V3 DK top. Um, it actually says the word, uh, just a T. Uh, on the button itself for top. So uh, I'm gonna hold it down, hit okay. So uh, now I'm going to go and send an F6. So I'll go keyboard text. And because it's a special thing, I will go F6 and you just double click on it. There we go, F6. Now this is a down delay, which means we're gonna press an F6 down uh, wait for 100 milliseconds and then bring it back up. Uh, so 100 is usually works pretty good. Um, enter key delay is if we could have a whole string of text to send here, this is how long the delay is between each uh, character we're sending. Okay, hit OK. Okay, so F6. Now I'm just going to uh, move this out of the way. Go back into the game. No, tilde. I don't want to help anybody in distress at C. Okay. No. Yeah, you're disappointed. Okay, so uh, now I'll go into the game. I'm going to press this button on the controller, and there's my strategic map. So uh, I'm going to hit escape to close it. And uh, if I go into the game here, key assignments, you could see that the strategic map is right here, F6. So there's a bunch of different things you can map here. You could also map these voice commands if you want. Uh, it's really, uh, it's up to you. So that's how you configure the digital joystick uh, equivalency of uh, for uh, scrolling around in NO2070. And that's pretty standard in most games that you know you scroll around in like that. Um, it's, uh, it's dead simple to set up, and this controller is really comfortable to use. All right, have fun.